So most of astrobiology is looking for life along the lines of most life on Earth. And most life on Earth is not the kind of life that you can see with your eyes. It's not big, multicellular things like us. Most life on Earth, uh, especially in terms of the number of different kinds, is microbial life. And so we have an expectation, since most of Earth's history, life was only microbial, that life in the rest of the galaxy, most of it will be mostly microbial, and we will recognize it by its signatures in the atmospheres of planets, or possibly in the solar system, actually finding an image of that microbe in the water in Enceladus or something like that. So when we talk about life on Titan or Enceladus or Europa or even on Mars, we're generally thinking about bacteria or microbes or very small uh, kinds of life. So if we were to find microbes on Enceladus, it would just answer so many, so many questions. So for one thing, if it came from a different biogenesis, if it came, uh, if it arose naturally there on Enceladus, then the kind of ways that it, it evolves or the ways that it passes genetic information on from one generation to the next might be completely different than the way it happens on Earth. Or it could be the same way. They might use DNA for all we know. So that would tell us whether there are multiple different ways for life to arise, multiple different biochemistries that life could use. And if that were true, then that would mean that there could be many sites of life all across the galaxy. Places like Titan could pursue different routes. Uh, but if it were the same, that would suggest that you really do need Earth-like conditions to get the sorts of biochemistries we use. So it would tell us a lot about the prevalence of life throughout the galaxy.